It can be pretty unrelatable to see everyone on YouTube use expensive 4K or 8K cameras just to make high quality YouTube videos, especially if you're young, broke, or both. But according to all the cool kids on the block, gear doesn't matter. So in this video, I decided to put that to the test to see how high quality of a video can I make this video with just an iPhone. To make it even harder on myself, I'm not just going to film a talking head style video, I'm going to attempt to film a travel video because I'm a masochist apparently. So I booked a unique stay at a tiny home to simulate the Airbnb travel video concept. And thus began the challenge. Right off the bat, I encountered a problem. I realized if I wanted to record on my phone, I can't also navigate on my phone. It became very difficult to use my phone the way I normally do and also use it to film. Storage was also a problem because I had years of photos and videos on my phone and to delete a lot of old photos and videos in order to make room for all the clips that I was about to take. In order to match the cinematic quality of my travel videos, I decided I needed a gimbal for my iPhone. So I picked up the OM5 and it is an amazing amazing, amazing gimbal that allowed me to get really, really smooth shots. I'll have a link down below if you want to pick one up for yourself. It's really not that expensive. I think it's $150. It's not 100% necessary to get one of these gimbals in order to make high quality YouTube videos. Technically, the iPhone already has great stabilization. I filmed a lot of clips on my iPhone before and kind of mixed it in with my A7R footage in my other YouTube videos, but it's the only way you can get those cinematic pans and different types of camera movements where the horizon line is steady. That's kind of how you get a really cinematic look. It definitely makes your iPhone footage look a lot more professional. What I really loved about using this setup was it was so light and easy to film with compared to my normal setup. And it's so beginner friendly. It has this thing called shot guides or story mode where it kind of guides you on how to film something. So if you're not a professional storyboarder artist or a very experienced video content creator, it gives you some ideas when you lack creativity, imagination. Anyone who's ever filmed on an iPhone will also agree that it's so fast to film. When I'm using my normal setup, turning on and off the camera kind of takes at least five or ten seconds. And a lot of times when you're run and gun filmmaking like you typically do when you go traveling or something like that, vlogging let's say, oftentimes you will miss the shot if it takes you that long to set up your camera. Whereas you can just whip out your phone, cowboy style. For example, we went to EF, Inn of the Seventh Ray. It's a very unique restaurant, basically in the middle of the woods. And I was not expecting a deer to come rolling up to us while we were eating our breakfast. If I were using my normal camera, I definitely would have missed that moment. It's those kind of spontaneous, sometimes funny moments. What the f that are difficult to capture when you're using a really, really big expensive camera. Another pretty big advantage that I noticed while filming with a phone is that people are less intimidated by it. When I first started vlogging outdoors, a lot of people would get really freaked out by a really crazy camera setup. They might stare or judge you or want to get in the shot for whatever reason. For the longest time, I wanted to use the A7R exclusively. So I would only take that camera out with me to film. It would make people uncomfortable or I didn't know if I was allowed to bring such a big camera in a store with me and I would end up missing shots that I really wish I got for the vlog or a YouTube video or something like that. That never happens when you're shooting on an iPhone. Having this iPhone set up at the tiny home really showed exactly how versatile it is when we had to film in small locations. For example, this tiny home had a really cool bathroom situation outside where they created this kind of outdoor shower and bathtub situation. I was able to set up the iPhone in a spot that you can't normally set up a big bulky camera in order to film some really cool shots. It was really helpful that the iPhone comes with basically three different types of lenses. There's the really long lens to get really up 
close. The iPhone also has macro mode to really get those small detailed shots. It has an ultra wide, which is really useful for shooting a really small space or to get a lot in the frame. With the OM5 gimbal, you can also get shots that you normally can't really get with a big bulky camera as well. You can get really, really low shots. And the tiny little tripod feet can help you set up this camera pretty much anywhere and film yourself if you don't have anyone else to help film you. It's a lot easier than carrying a 15 pound tripod with you everywhere you go. I also don't know what kind of sorcery they put into these iPhones, but it can capture some really, really blue skies and also expose perfectly on its own. Normally, it's really, really difficult to do that with these big cameras and lenses and filters and ND filters and step up rings or step down rings or whatever it's called. You need so many different accessories that you need to juggle just to get that blue sky cinematic look. Also, in order to use the OM5, you need to download the DJI Mimo app. In that app, it has a beauty filter that can literally slim down your face in the video or beautify your skin and blur out imperfections. This is particularly great for females, but honestly, I'm not trying to catfish anyone. I'm not sure if I would ever use this, but pretty nice touch. When I went to edit all this footage, it worked so smoothly because I'm basically using all Apple software and devices. I personally use Final Cut Pro. I used to use Premiere Pro and it's technically industry standard. It's what I learned to use in school. You don't really need all the fancy doohickeys unless you're going to do motion graphics or something like that. Final Cut Pro is a lot cheaper and in my opinion, a lot better. And it's not subscription based. So you buy it, you own it, and you will have it for forever. The one thing you really need to get if you do plan on filming on your iPhone is something to record sound on. People can forgive bad video. They cannot forgive bad sound because it can be pretty annoying. There are some really cool mic options for the iPhone on moment.com. I will link them down below. I'm currently using the DR05 to record sound. I used to use the Rode lavalier mic as well. But if you want to be super duper cheap because I know you're young and I know you're broke, the Apple headphones has a mic on it and it's actually pretty decent audio for voiceovers and stuff like that. And one thing I am missing from using an iPhone to film is the bokeh that you typically get from using an expensive camera and expensive lens. Bokeh is basically the background blur that you get from using a lens with a low aperture. I was using the iPhone 11 Pro and the front camera actually has pretty good aperture settings because the front camera does have some depth of field. You can get away with tricking the eye into thinking that you actually are shooting with a professional level camera. If you're using the iPhone 13 Pro, that problem is pretty much non-existent because now you can add a digital bokeh which is pretty comparable from what I've seen. By the end of this whole challenge, I really, really enjoyed filming with just the iPhone. There's absolutely no excuse for anyone to not start a YouTube channel because they don't have all the expensive gear. It's such a quick and powerful tool that allows me to focus less on the filming aspect of it and more on the story I am trying to tell. Because let me let you in on a little secret. That's actually how you get views on YouTube. So it's super important if you want to make your channel grow overnight and get more views, check out these videos next.